Thank you once again, ladies and gentlemen. My role is very simple, to close this uh, webinar. And uh, I would like to thank all the facilitators and of course uh, my fellow lecturers for this uh, transcultural nursing. The first uh, course offered to BS nursing at CPU. And in fact, some other schools, nursing school in the Philippines, don't have this kind of uh, subject. And we are the uh, pioneer of uh, transcultural nursing. Why we are doing this? We want to prepare our students before they graduate from school, that they're ready to face the world with uh, different cultures and uh, background and history. And of course, I would like to thank the Dean, um, Attorney Salex Aliboga, for introducing this course to the uh, nursing students, graduating nursing students of uh, CPU. And just a uh, brief recap of uh, what we have learned today. We uh, first uh, discussed about China, the uh, most populous country in the world, with 1.4 billion people. And, you know, China, um, they have the Great Wall of China, the only uh, man-made uh, structure that can be seen from the moon. And then we uh, went down to uh, South Korea. We skipped North Korea, which is closer adjacent to China. We went down to below 37 parallel. We went to South Korea, where uh, we discussed about uh, the Korean culture. And then uh, when you are familiar with Taekwondo, then you'll be uh, aware of uh, the wordings like command, chariot, which means attention. Kyuni, which means uh, get ready. Shijak means a fight. And then Baru, which means uh, relax. So uh, South Korea was annexed by Japan in 1905 uh, and 1910. It was... Uh, 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 controlled by uh, Japan and uh, after uh, World War II the Americans left uh, South Korea and the communist uh, North Korea invaded the South Korea they went over the uh, 37 parallel and then with the help of the United Nations headed by Douglas MacArthur we helped uh, South Korea uh, get back and recover now they are one of the uh, not only the tigers of Asia, but the uh, promising economy in the world. Uh, the capital is uh, Seoul, while the north is Pyongyang. Now, let's proceed to uh, India. Um, there are a lot of uh, Indian nurses and medical doctors in the United States. Particularly if you're working in California, you'll be working side by side with the Indian nurses and Indian uh, physicians. And some of you nursing students, um, when you go to the United States or UK or other parts of the world, you will see a lot of uh, Indian nationals. They're the second most populous country in uh, the world with a population of 1.3 billion. So, malapit na, maabutan lang China. And then uh, they uh, really love the spices, and then we, when they eat, they eat like a Filipinos, bare hands. And uh, the presentation of India is like, uh, they titled it Six Day uh, Tour. It's like uh, I was reminded of the Six, six Days War, uh, Israel versus the uh, Arab countries, where Israel won in six days uh, time. They, uh, Israel defeated those uh, Arab countries. And then after that, we went to the Philippines with uh, 11, 111 million population. Remember, the Philippines size uh, land area is like uh, California. California has a 35 million population. The Philippines has 111 million people as of 2021 statistics. And of course, the uh, we uh, talked about this earlier. Tagalog, English, and Cebuano are the commonly used uh, language. Hopefully, in the near future, Hiligaynon will be included in the commonly used uh, language or dialects in the Philippines. Japan, the land of the rising sun. Konnichiwa, which means hello or how are you? Ogenke desu ka, which means how are you? 
and uh, when you're answering in Japan or uh, Nihongo or Nippongo they say Genki des, meaning I'm fine and then uh, they talk about uh, before you eat uh, talk about itidakimas meaning uh, let's eat it's like a prayer for them before they eat and then uh, don't talk about uh, bakero because that is a bad word in Japan in Hiligaynon Bakero is like a shepherd or bakero sang karabaw. But in Japanese, Nihongo, that is a taboo. It's a bad word for them. And in uh, basic uh, greetings in uh, Japan, so konnichiwa or how are you? And then uh, basic counting 1 to 10, ichi ni, san shi go, roko, shihach, kyujo. That's uh, 1 to 10 uh, counting in Japan. I forgot the basic. Of Japanese because that is one of my foreign language when I took my PhD uh, Japanese and uh, Spanish uh, languages and then we went to oh the lifespan of uh, Japanese people is 84 years old Mataas, mahaba ang buhay. while the, the Filipino lifespan is 71 years old and uh, Americans 78 years old so 84 for japanese why because they love fish um tuna paborito nila and raw food and healthy food and then we went to united kingdom of uh, great britain and then it's a monarch meaning the head of the state and then they have the prime minister which is the head of uh, the government so again if we compare the form of government of uh, UK and that of United States versus or the Philippines we are presidential form of government meaning there are three major branches of government the executive legislative and judiciary while in the Parliament there is a fusion of the executive and legislative and then judiciary so it's easier for them to pass laws and uh, that is the form of parliamentary form uh, France is also parliamentary but they have a different type and also during Marcos President Marcos in our country we have the parliamentary form with uh, Marcos uh, style so different now we are um, presidential form of government and then of course uh, they have uh, English as their official language while the United States don't have the official language so Remember that? United States don't have official language. Uh, English is the official language for UK. United States, majority speaks English, followed by Spanish, and then uh, Chinese and other uh, minorities. Um, afternoon tea is uh, famous in the UK at 4 p.m. And then the most important thing with the UK is that their healthcare system. It is uh, free. The government um, subsidizes everything. If you remember the movie of 2007, directed by Michael Moore, entitled Siko, he uh, talked about the UK health system, the France, Canada, and Cuba. These four countries gives free health uh, care to their people. And during uh, Secretary Ubiel's time in the Philippines, she went to Cuba, she went to Canada and followed her system. And she came back and tried to implement the, the system with the field health, health for all. It was approved into law, signed by the president. However, the money in field health was lost uh, somewhere out there. Nadula, nadula, uh, because of corruption in the government. That's why we are still paying out of pocket for our health care in the Philippines. Our dream is to have a free health care, but because of corruption, we are still paying out of pocket. And uh, if you're a member of PhilHealth, I'm glad I uh, was employed by CPU. I'm a member of PhilHealth in case I go to the hospital. I have subsidy from the government. And then, the United States, the land of the free, the home of the brave with a 325 million population and of course the famous uh, uh, stars and stripe for the flag in god we trust we also try to follow that one and then um, 
they celebrated the 4th of July independence and recently we in, uh, celebrated the uh, Thanksgiving and then uh, the uh, country of uh, opportunity again those are the recaps of the discussion for today and I was uh, very happy to see the students uh, perform and um, presented excellently during this um, culmination uh, webinar of the transcultural nursing and I would like to congratulate the uh, College of Nursing headed by the Dean Attorney Salis Alboga and all facilitators and lecturers and of course uh, uh, our guest jurors who were invited to see and all alumni watching right now all over the world um, thank you very much and have a pleasant afternoon from the Philippines mabuhay kag malipayon nga hapon para sa aton nga tanan